hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're going to be making a bottle opener. Well, it's a fantastic project, it's a fantastic gift, and it's a quick project that only takes about a half an hour to whip off. And it all starts over at the bench with some scrap hardwood stock. Well, this project is a fun one, and it really is a great way to use up scrap stock. And what I have here is a scrap piece of three quarter inch walnut, and we're gonna be turning this into a bottle opener. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest my hand across here and I'm gonna kinda of picture what I need to be the business end, which will be here, and I wanna see what's gonna be the handle end for here and then a little bit extra. So I'm saying this here will be my length. And if I look at it, that is uh, eight and a half inches long, roughly. So we just wanna sketch this out. Now, this isn't really rocket science. This can be any design you want. And we're not really gonna, we're not gonna worry too much about making this absolutely perfect. It's just a fun project. So there we go. We're gonna come up like this on the bottle opener. And then we're just gonna bring this down Now I know that this probably isn't showing up very well. Um, it's very difficult to show pencil on walnut. But anyway, there's our rough design. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this over to the scroll saw and I'm gonna cut this out. Now what I've done is I've drawn a second line to thin out our handle here and to give it a little more shape. I know it's hard to see on the walnut, but once I get it cut out, you'll see it a little better. And there we have the shape of our bottle opener. But honestly, it's, it's not very comfortable at this point in time. Um, in fact, it's a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna take a block plane and I'm just gonna taper down this handle here just a little bit. I mean, we'll give ourselves some reference lines um, to follow by, but you don't wanna take it down a lot. We're just gonna take it down just a little bit, taper it and give it some shape and, uh, once you're happy with that shape, then we can carry on with the next step. Okay, so we've got a bit of a taper there. I think I'm gonna take it down just a little bit more and, and fine tune that taper. And then we're gonna get into maybe some uh, custom sanding here on the handle. I think I would like maybe some finger grips there. The more I'm feeling this, the more I'm thinking some finger grips. But for now, I'm gonna continue with these tapers and get them to the way that I like them. Well, you can see the taper there of the bottle opener. And I think what I want to do next, before I get into these finger grips that I wanna do, I think I'm gonna run a router all the way around this thing and round this off. Now, you can do it 100% with the block plane if you like, um, but I mean, you can use the router just as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to grab the router and uh, clean off and round off, rather, all of the outside edges 
We don't want to round off this flat part though, so don't touch that. Well, the more I looked at the router option, the more I didn't like it. Uh, a piece this small using a router to shape it. I thought that's just a disaster waiting to happen. So, you know what, I'm having fun with the block plane. I might as well continue and uh, get everything rounded off nicely here. So, once I get this all shaped and rounded the way that I like, I'm going to turn my attention to some sandpaper and clean this thing up. But so far, I'm really liking the shape of this. All right, so after considerable shaping and planing and sanding, I have come up on a shape that I like and that feels comfortable. And due to the fact that I ended up really tapering this more than what I initially intended to, I don't think I need the finger holes. It's quite comfortable the way it is. So now that I'm happy with that design, we just need to work on this business end here that will open our bottles. Well, at this stage on this flat section that I said not to touch, we're going to measure back one inch, just like that. And in the center at that mark, this is three quarter inch walnut. So it'll be at three eighths. So at that center part, we're going to be drilling a Forstner bit hole. What size? Well, I have a number 10 flat washer here and we're gonna measure that flat washer and drill the closest size that we can so that this flat washer can sit flush right there where we drill that hole. And we're going to be using a number eight by three quarter inch screw to screw it in place. Well, that hole ended up being um, half an inch in diameter and one sixteenth of an inch deep. Well, now what we're going to do is from the edge of this circle here, pointing at the tip, getting close to the tip, we're going to measure back one eighth of an inch. And we're going to place a mark there and square it off across our board. So here we go, one eighth of an inch, like that. And we'll just grab a square here. Which one do I want? Oh, I like this one. So we're going to square that off across our board, just so that we know where we are here. One eighth of an inch, square it off right there. And then we will carry that line on up the side of our piece. I know it's difficult to see. Hopefully once I cut this, you'll understand a little more. Just like this. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mark from the bottom here a, a line all the way around at three-eighths of an inch up. It's a little difficult to hold on to and mark, but we'll get it. And we'll mark it on the end. And then on the other side as well. All right. So now what we want to do, now that we have that marked, is we want to get a handsaw and we're going to cut up and out. So we're going to take out that front little niche that we just marked out. So I'm going to clamp this up in the vise and uh, I'm going to get one of my saws there and we're going to cut this out. So you just want to be careful not to remove too much material here. And we'll get the saw started. And we'll just carefully cut down to our line.
There we go. And now we'll flip it up the other way, just like this. Clamp it in there securely. And I'll grab a ripping saw and we'll just take this chunk out. So close, we didn't come quite down enough with the cross cut. So we'll just get the cross cut and gently take that piece out. We're so close. There we are. All right. So now you should have something that looks like this. And from here now, we can drill down through here. You want to try to get up. I said I was going to use a three quarter. I may actually use a little longer screw, but we want to get it so that it goes straight up through and into this walnut up top to give it some good seating to hold on to. So now we're just going to give this a little bit of a sanding just to take off that sharp edge and take away any kind of tear out that we may have had there. Although I don't really see any, it's a pretty clean cut. So we'll give it a little bit of a sanding. And then what we're going to do is take our number 10 washer and we're going to use a number eight by one inch screw and we're just going to screw it right into here until we get it completely seated in there. Well, after looking at it a little closer, we're actually a little close to that edge to be using a number eight screw. So I've reduced it to a number six and that's fine. That'll suit us perfectly. It'll still work and still hold in there nice and secure. So what do you do with it now? Well, let me show you. Well, at this point, there's not much to do other than enjoy. Cheers. Well, about a week after filming this show and using the bottle opener for a bit, I got the idea that I think I'd like to do one more change to it. And that would be to sink a rare earth magnet into the head. This one here is a barrel magnet, which is a quarter of an inch in diameter and a half an inch long. It's just what I had in the shop, but I was hoping that it would do this. And that is it would hold on to this bottle cap for you until it's time to throw it away. So there you go. There's a little extra modification that makes this even more cool than what it was before. And on top of that, now I have to drink a second one of these. <laughs> Hardships of my hobby. <sighs> and there you have it. A simple bottle opener made from yet more scrap stock. Guys, this design could not be simpler and it also could not be more loose. And what I mean by that is make it however you want. I started off with a design in my head that I thought it was going to look like. And by the time I finished planing and sanding and I was having so much fun with that low angle block plane that I didn't even really notice how much I was really taking off, even though I gave myself lines to, <laughs> to guide me. I don't care. I had a lot of fun with it and I love the shape. Uh, even though it wasn't exactly how I thought, it still came out just as good as I thought it would. And as you saw, it works great. You don't feel like it's going to break as you're using it. You don't feel a lot of pressure. And what did we use in material? We used about an eight inch piece of walnut that was three quarters of an inch by maybe an inch and a half wide. And a washer and a screw. That's it. All the rest was just labor and time with a plane and a, and a piece of sandpaper and a couple hand saws. Just a great project. A lot of fun. A quick one that you can bang off in a half an hour and present it to the host of your next party. Say, hey, 
I made you something. Thank you for inviting me. It doesn't take much to make a great project. Guys, I want to thank you very much for tuning in this week. This project's been a lot of fun for me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you're going to try this project for yourself, and I also hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video. Now, <laughs> I'm going to go drink my drink before it gets warm. <laughs>